Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have, as you can tell by the title, I have another MAC lipstick swatches video and this one is on my dark collection for you guys. I've kind of got like two areas of dark. So I've got like the browns to maroons and then I've also got the like silvers to blacks. So I've done my neutral swatches already. I'll leave that video linked down below if you guys haven't seen it and you want to see more neutral colors. Um, that will be in the down bar. But yeah, I'm going to get straight into this video because there are a lot of lipsticks to show and yeah so let's get into it <laughs> okay so the first color i have is this little mini lipstick here and this is the morning breeze color it's a like a muted pinky color i don't know why this is in my darks i guess it is kind of like a dark pink so this color here is morning breeze this is super pretty this is an amplified texture um but yeah i really like the amplified textures because they're a little bit more um hydrating on the lips but they're still very full in color so yeah, that is Morning Breeze. I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit. So the next one we have here is called Shiitake. It looks like a really cool, like, I'm pretty sure it's a luster finish. I'm not too sure. It just says sample on the bottom. Um, but yeah, I haven't actually used this before, so let's see what it looks like. So this is Shiitake here. It's definitely more of a luster or a glaze finish, but it's a really nice purple. It's like a, I mean, not a purple. What am I talking about? This is like a really nice, um brown like an ashy toned kind of brown it's really pretty all right and then the next one we have here is called stone and stone is a matte this has been one of my favorite lipsticks from mac for a long time um i used to wear the crap out of this color and yeah it's just a really nice cement color let's try it on all right and this is the color stone how cool is this color i love it i don't wear it as much nowadays um i wear a lot of sort of nudes now or reds but I really really love this color I just messed up that application so bad so a few years ago this was probably like my go-to lipstick like this actual whole look here was probably my go-to look maybe like instead of matte eyeshadow like a sparkly eyeshadow um but more of a warm toned eye and then this color here was definitely my go-to sort of lip but yeah not so much now I'm more of a nude gal but this was my nude back in those days <laughs> all right and the next color i have is this color here verve and it is a satin again i like the formulas of the satins because they're like a semi-matte so they're not quite matte but they're not shiny either um they're just like a really soft velvety kind of finish so this one is verve all right and this is the color verve here it's super cool color so it's like a brown but it's got like a mauvey tint to it it's really cool it's a very unique color like i find it quite hard to find colors like this i don't know maybe i just don't try out very many new lip products but yeah i really like this color and then next we have this one here and it's called are you flirting with me i think this was a limited edition one or it came in a set or something like that um but this is a amplified lipstick Alright, I think I've worn this once or twice, but I really like it and I need to wear it more often. I love it with this sort of color eyes as well. But that is Are You Flirting With Me? So the next one we have is called Studded Kiss and this is a matte lipstick. So that is the color Studded Kiss. Again, a beautiful color. I love these sort of colors. Um, it's quite similar to the last one that I tried on, just not as purple tone. This one here is a little bit more ready. This is going to be a nice red for Christmas. I think I'll have to do a tutorial with this lipstick on. Um, but yeah, this is really nice. This is like, again, one of my old favorites for MAC. Um, yeah, like a, just a nice classic sort of color for me that I've liked for a long time. So yeah. That one is Sutter Kiss. Excuse the really bad application. My lips are starting to feel a little bit numb. Alright, and then the next one we have here is called Bowl Me Over. And it is a retro matte lipstick. So it's a matte, but it's just a little bit drier formula than the regular mattes. Um, these ones here last for ages on the lips. Alright, and that is Bowl Me Over. I love this one too. I don't really know whether it's more of a red or a brown, but it's just a really nice in-between. It's such a cool colour. I love this colour. And I love the look of a retro matte on the lip. Like, you can tell it's not going to come off. It almost looks like your lips are stained this colour, which is why I like the retro mattes. They just have a really cool 
look about them and they last freaking ages um balmy over came out with the it's a strike collection which was the bowling collection i think that was either last year or the year before that um so yeah it is a limited edition color but it's super cool color i love this one okay so the next color i have is one of the mac lip tensity lipsticks now these ones here are high shine and also full coverage um color so yeah this one here is called i don't even know how to say it but it's d-i-o-n-y-s-u-s -S. we'll see if i can focus that on the camera name i don't know if you can see that but that's the name of the color there all right so that's that one i'm not even going to try and say the name again excuse the application i really like the look of these lipsticks on however i don't like the shape of the bullet i find the shape of the bullet is really really hard and difficult to get the bottom lip um i don't know whether it's just me let me know if you guys hold on let me know if you guys have bought any of the lip tensities lipsticks and let me know what you think of them um like the shape of the applicator i just find it really awkward to apply but yeah that is that color there and all right and then the last color we have for these warmer tone colors is um this one here and i guess this one's kind of a little bit more cool um, but, but compared to the other ones this one's called um antique velvet and it's like a dark chocolate brown um and it is a matte formula i love this one all right and that is antique velvet there how cool is this color in my personal opinion i think this is like the perfect dark chocolate brown color it is so beautiful i absolutely love antique velvet all right so now we're going to jump into a few of my more ashier and cooler toned lipsticks so the first one i have is a gray and this is actually one of the mineralized rich lipsticks i believe these have been discontinued now um but these were really really nice lipsticks i really enjoyed these but this one was from a limited edition collection probably about two years ago um and it's called ionized so this is ionized it's a little bit more of a sheer lipstick they are a little bit more of a buildable one so you do add just a little bit more to build it up but i can never get like a really really opaque look with um this particular lipstick and it probably doesn't help because i've got a lot of red and pink underneath on my lips um but yeah without a lip liner so i would usually wear a lip liner with this i don't wear this color too often just because it is a little bit different and out there um but i always like to keep these kinds of lipstick in case i want to do like a really different makeup tutorial so yeah that one is ionized all right so the next one i have is called primrose and again i don't know what um finish this is because it just says sample on the bottom um but this was a limited edition one i can't actually remember what collection it was if you guys know this is the lipstick case here i can't pronounce the name right either though so yeah that's it there but i'm not even too sure what collection this was so yeah but anyway it's like a deep purple so again this is another sheer lipstick but you can build it up quite easily and get more of like a even finish out of it which is quite nice um it feels like a luster finish i'm not 100 percent sure though because it almost feels a little bit jelly so i don't know it's either a luster or a glaze one of them but yeah it feels nice and balmy on my lips all right so next we have boyfriend seller and this is a, another um limited edition one but i can't remember what was it called it was like a really dark collection that's all i remembered like a lot of darker colors in it but i can't remember the name of the collection so yeah but this one is called boyfriend seller And also the consistency of this is a cream sheen. I remember when this collection came out, I used to love to wear this lipstick. It's so cool. It definitely needs a um, lip liner with it though, because it is like with the cream sheens, they're a little bit more hydra hydrating. So they can tend to bleed and they don't give you that nice sharp edge. Um, but yeah, I love this kind of color. It's actually very similar to the last one that I tried. And a very similar consistency as well. I'm not 100% sure if they're the same, but yeah this is a super cool color i love it all right and then next i have another limited edition lipstick and this is actually the um halsey lipstick so she collaborated with mac on a lipstick and this is the lipstick she brought out i actually completely forgot i even have this lipstick um but yeah it's a matte finish this is a super cool color too 
Alright, and this is their colour here. How awesome is this colour? Like, even if you had, like, a really neutral eye on, I think this colour would look so cool. When I first got this, I used to wear this out when I'd, like, go out um, with my friends at night and stuff. I'd wear this quite a lot. Um, I don't wear these kind of colours so much now, but I really, really love this colour. And I still had the same love I had for it when I bought it. It's a super cool colour. Next we have In My Fashion, and it is a matte lipstick. And that is that colour. It's a very, very, very dark grey colour. Again, not something I'd wear all the time, but it'd be great for this time of year, like Halloween. Um, a good dark lipstick to wear with your costume. Right, and then next we have this one here, and this has been one of my faves for such a long time. That's why I've used quite a bit of this lipstick, but it is Matte Royal, and it is a matte lipstick. And that is matte royal. How cool is this color? It's just a really like true blue color. I feel like you can't really get a blue lipstick any more on point than this. It's great. And it's a really good consistency as well. It's not like sheer. It's You don't have to build it up. Like it goes on really, really nicely. So yeah, that is matte royal. All right. And then the next one we have is called Lust Extract. And it is a matte lipstick. And it's another blue color. I have quite a few blue lipsticks. I used to be really into blue lipstick so I have quite a few of them so this one here is quite a bit darker than matte royal it's still like that blue color but it has got a little bit excuse me it's definitely a blue color but it has a little bit more of a purple tint to this blue shade but again a really cool color I just love blue lipsticks I don't know what it is about them they just look really cool on all right and then the next one we have is from the Nico Panda range this has probably been my favorite collection for packaging. Just, it's so cute. I brought two of these lipsticks literally because of the packaging. Um, so I have one. I think I showed it to you guys in my last video. No, I haven't shown it to you guys yet, but it's a bright one as well. So I've got two of these little panda ones, but oh, it's just so cute. When I brought this lipstick originally, I thought it was black, but it's definitely not black. It's another blue. Um, it's very similar to Lust Extract. It's just a little bit darker. Um, and again, it is a matte lipstick. It's called Nico Kiss, by the way. Alright, so that is Nico Kiss. Yeah, Nico Kiss. And I really like this colour too. It's a very, very dark, like, midnight blue colour. Excuse the shabby application, but my lips are getting sore. Uh, but yeah, it's a really, really cool colour. I, <laughs> I honestly thought it was black when I first bought it, um, but I was trying it out in my... Um, Halloween tutorial, my pumpkin makeup tutorial. I was trying it out for the um, bit across my face and I put it on and it was blue and I was like, it's not a black lipstick. Um, but yeah, it's a cool color anyway though. I really like it. Again, I love the blues. All right, and I have two more lipsticks left. The next one I have is called Black Knight. And again, this is from the same collection that that um, Boyfriend Stealer uh, color was from, but I can't remember what the collection was called. Um, but yeah, this is called Dark Black Knight, and it's a black with a gold pearl in it. It's really, really pretty. A cream sheen, by the way. Alright, and that is the colour Black Knight there. I love this black lipstick so much. I've done a makeup tutorial with using this colour ages and ages ago, probably two or three years ago now. I'll leave it linked in the down bar, um, but yeah, if I can remember, I'll leave it linked. But it's a really cool colour. I want to show you guys up a little... I'm not going to get too close to my lips because awkward um but yeah it's got a really slight gold glitter in it it's super pretty but i love this flick because it's a little bit more sheer usually sheer lipsticks that are dark kind of annoy me um but this color here i really like because it's not like too bam i mean it's a black lipstick it's in your face but um it's not too intense like it's got that little bit of glitter to kind of make it a bit different you know but yeah that's a really cool color i love this black lipstick Alright, and then the very last lipstick we have is this one here, and this is a black, black lipstick. Um, it's the Lip Tensity lipstick in the colour Stallion. Um, so, this is the colour I ended up using in my Halloween tutorial um, for my black sort of mouth on my face. Uh, but yeah, it's a very, very dark, glossy uh, black. Alright, and that is the colour Stallion, such a cool, like, black shade. Um, I like that it's got a little bit of gloss to it, but it's definitely that, like, black, 
like really really dark thick black color um, but yeah I like this color too um, again the applicators of the lip tinted um, lipsticks really annoy me but that's okay the color is really really cool uh, I'd probably use this with like a black lip liner or eyeliner whatever you'd use with that um, because of the glossy finish they do tend to be a little bit more like runny they can't talk can't find my words today uh, they bleed a little bit so yeah but there's a really cool color it reminds me of like patent black leather all right guys so that was the last of my dark matte lipsticks I have to show you guys um, let me know what your guys favorite color was from this video down below also let me know if you've tried out any other ones um, that I didn't mention in this video so I can also try them out but thank you guys so much for watching comment request subscribe and like don't forget to hit the notification bell and I will see you all in my next video bye